Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, checking in on this Saturday night, the day before Mother's Day. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. Uh, so today, May 9th, 2020, 7.22 p.m. out here, West Coast time. So I uh, just want to jump in here and, and uh, do a little quick earthquake video update here. Point out a little bit of uh, interesting earthquake activity occurring uh, specifically in the uh, United States. Uh, Taking a look globally real quick here. Pretty active out here on the west coast or uh, western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. As always, this is um, just a hot spot of activity. Uh, pretty much an everyday event out here where we see fours and fives. Uh, sometimes we go a couple days without any real activity, but uh, then it always picks up as it should. Uh, nothing major to report around the globe at the moment um, interesting activity I wanted to point out 3.9 up here north of the border uh, up into Canada region kind of a larger earthquake than what we've seen there over the past uh, couple days we can go back a few more days there you can see uh, they had a 3.1 up there but uh, kind of a larger magnitude and we don't get too many earthquakes up there so it's uh, something to pay attention to and watch here in the coming days uh, as we see as we may see some more um, earthquakes happening in that spot the one I check out Yellowstone looking pretty nice up there with Old Faithful uh, the one I kind of want to point out here let's go over here to this map uh, see what happened to it here let's, one second The uh, one day magnitude 2.5 and above here. Areas of interest right now is Idaho and Yellowstone National Park. We'll go ahead and zoom in first here into the Idaho region. Kind of seen an uptick in earthquake activity today in the Idaho region. Of course, they have been seeing uh, uh, quite a bit of aftershock activity. Over the past, uh, well, ever since that uh, large quake struck up there, uh, what is it, about a month now, I believe? We can go back last uh, 30 days and check the 2.5 and above in this region, and you'll see that there is a definitely a tremendous amount of earthquake activity over the last 30 days here in Idaho. It comes and goes, it seems. Uh, it'll drop off for a day or so, and then it will ramp up like it was doing today. But just on this map here over the last 30 days here, 2.5 and above, just 2.5 and above, 234 earthquakes there in the Idaho region. I do want to go back to the one day all magnitudes here. For some reason though, well I guess there is a 1.9 right there. Okay, I'll give them credit, but I know there's much more earthquake activity occurring than they are registering on this simple map here, uh, claiming 14 earthquakes here today. And uh, like I said, a lot of twos in there. Some uh, lower threes as well. Pretty much in the same area that we've always talked about here, the Sawtooth Fault System. Uh, it's kind of staying away from it, but it, not completely. Uh, we did see an area over uh, oh, a couple weeks ago where we've seen uh, this activity pretty much really close, right on the Sawtooth Fault System. Um, and that was kind of troubling to see. Uh, it has backed off a little bit, but uh, we're kind of seeing more of a spread out area of earthquakes now. Roughly about 10 miles or so spread out. And uh, that's kind of interesting there. There is, uh, let's see here, if there's another fault system over there. I know there's another one here. I don't think they have it marked. And I believe this area over here uh, to the east is... Uh, Shoot, I can't remember the name of that fault system there. I'll have to get back on that. But uh, this area over here has definitely seen some uh, some larger earthquakes here too. I mean, it's uh, it's a mountainous areas, right? We see uh, mountains build up and and uh, tear down from erosion and earthquakes building it up and all the plate tectonics at work, right? I'm gonna go over here to the um, so we'll we'll continue to watch that area there in the Idaho region. Uh, nothing alarming at the moment. Uh, no earthquake activity showing up here in Yellowstone National Park. This is the overview here, but uh, that does not necessarily mean that there isn't. If you've been watching the um, 
live data stream here on the Earthquake 3D stream. I do have a Yellowstone station pulled up and you should have seen, if you've been watching uh, for a little bit earlier today, a, uh, uh, quite a few spikes and whatnot. Earthquake spikes that is. And the uh, uh, in the Yellowstone region. Hold on a second, that was kind of weird. Let's try that again here. Not for sure why it did that. That's okay, we'll try it again, see if it pops up. Alrighty, there we go, that's what I was looking for. No. Ah, it's just been one of those strange days, man. A lot of paranormal type. Well, maybe not paranormal, but some interesting uh, matrix stuff going on there. Uh, the overview here of Yellowstone National Park. Let me see if I can blow this up a little bit more. At least increase the, the size a little bit so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. Good old Yellowstone National Park having a swarm of activity. Uh, the swarming occurring in the northwest corner of the park. Now this swarm is in addition to the increase in earth earthquake activity out in the Idaho region there. So um, this could, you know, this is obviously Intermountain West plate tectonics earth earthquake activity at play here. This is not magma. This is not movement in the Yellowstone magma chamber at all. But uh, it's interesting to note the activity, the swarming uh, that is occurring throughout today and it doesn't look like it has really stopped off or dropped off too much um, now these are micro quakes uh, probably lots of ones in there maybe one maybe a couple twos in there these other ones that are showing up the more defined spikes if you will on the graphs are those three pointers coming in from the Idaho region those are not localized earthquakes but the ones that are are these specifically uh, spiky, spiky um, quakes? Let's see if I can blow that up a little bit more. For some reason, this thing doesn't like, doesn't want me to uh, click on the individual links here. So it kind of, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to show you guys the individual stations here. It just doesn't want to click on it for some reason. I'll try it one more time and see if it does. Um, go over here to Maple Creek. Nope. I'm not for sure why. Something to do with the whoever manages this page here doesn't have something enabled, at least when it comes to uh, the OBS system that I'm using here. It won't let me. <clears throat> anyway, uh, pretty good earthquake swarm in there, folks. All those uh, uh, microquakes registering on uh, stations in he Hebgen Lake area, all the way down into parts of, uh, uh, looks like parts of central. Um, Yellowstone over here not showing up. Those microquakes are not showing up over here towards the, the northeast or the eastern stations here. Well, no, I don't believe that. I believe that's some interference right there on the uh, uh, YTP station there. But uh, definitely earthquake swarming going on up here in the northwest corner of Yellowstone National Park here in the uh, Quite a bit of earthquakes, folks. I'm just looking at a couple of these individual stations here on my end, and uh, I would guess probably around, uh, ooh, I don't know, 50 earthquakes or so. Maybe some more uh, in there just today. And as I mentioned, I, I'm thinking more than 50, but uh, definitely ongoing, still continuing, and that's uh, something we want to watch because they do have some large earthquakes up there, or can have some large earthquakes especially around the Hebgen Lake region. Anywhere in the Intermountain West region, I guess. You know, there's, like I mentioned, it's all, it's all uh, earthquake country. So we'll go over here to, uh, I'll drop that off here real quick. Let me see if I can pull up Yellowstone. Yeah, right now we're looking relatively quiet. That's the Yellowstone station right here, Yellowstone. Uh, Madison 207 that's directly in the northwest corner of the park there in, in Wyoming so uh, any earthquake swarming will definitely be visible on here but it doesn't look like we've seen anything over the last oh uh, what do we got what are, 20 minutes or so but that definitely could change so 
Uh, other than that, folks, uh, relatively quiet. Just some interesting activity up here in north, like I said, northeastern area with that 3.9. And uh, it's just Southern California still shaking a little bit. Not much, but, uh, you know, it is a major plate boundary out there. So we're going to see those quakes off and on. In the meantime, I uh, need to watch up there in Idaho and the Yellowstone National Park region there for uh, for uh, earthquake swarming. We'll see if it intensifies or not. Lots of times when we see those swarms, they, uh, they come and go. Sometimes they last for months. I mean, uh, a few years ago, we had a, a earthquake swarm that lasted, man, it was like, I can't remember, I want to say three or four months long. And it was one of the largest ones uh, that they've had up there in Yellowstone National Park. Remember, it was towards the end of summer. But I can't remember exactly what year, but uh, it was crazy. There was poof, thousands of earthquakes up there. And then, like I say, we've seen swarms where they kick up really fast and they calm down just as fast as they kicked up. So we'll have to see what happens. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on it here, folks. And uh, we'll be up here on the live stream once in a while. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like the channel while you're here. And uh, make sure you click on that notification bell so you can receive any uh, important earthquake updates out here uh, when it comes to uh, major activity out here around the globe. So have a good night, folks. Uh, once again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. You know, if you're lucky enough to have your mom still here on this earth, you know, which I hope you are. My mom is still here, and I'm very thankful for that, uh, you know. Mothers are, uh, you know, they're they're uh, one of a kind, right? You only have one mom, that's for sure. So uh, definitely spend every moment that you can with her. So once again, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out here. And uh, hope everyone has a good night. And uh, stay safe out there.